In the world of Orna, on hallowed night, spooky monsters appear in the pale moonlight. Scavenge their items and complete the quest, your new Aglabale will take care of the rest. Spooky season is upon us, travelers and heroes, and that means our hallowed event returns for its once a year appearance. Hold on to your pumpkin pail as this month's content update video covers our spooky scavenger hunt, we reveal our legendary sprite packs, and we get you caught up with our IRL Northern Forge meetup, and more. First up, the Hollowed event returns to the Orniverse this year with a bit of a twist. The event will follow a scavenger hunt themed questline where you will defeat monsters holding pumpkin pails. Complete the questline to earn the famed Aglavale. This year though, monsters you encounter during the questline will drop different materials, kind of like a surprise bag. On top of this, the quest items can now be used to craft a new summoning scroll to summon a powerful raid boss. This boss will drop gear that will bolster your offensive capabilities with two-handed weapons, while also providing a beefier health pool. This comes at a cost though, your defenses will suffer while donning this armor. Orna Patch 3.7 and Hero of Aetheric Patch 1.3 have been released, and rollout should be complete by the time this video goes live. These patches bring so many features to the game, including the Blades of Finesse, Quick Access Item Menu Customization, the Return to Origin Town feature, and the Heart of Change, which will allow for the reset of Ascension levels, along with much, much more. We've also added some quality of life updates, including Equipment Optimization Button, real-time codex updating, filtering out own followers in bestiaries, quicker reaction to user input on button presses, an increase to daily step limits to 40,000, and so much more. To learn more about what is included in the new patches, be sure to check out our patch notes linked in the description below. We hope you enjoy the new adventures this patch brings and look forward to hearing your feedback on both the new content and quality of life fixes. Coven has been cooking in the art department, and you're all about to be served. This month will mark the release of Legendary Sprite Packs, a new cosmetic option for players of both of our games. Legendary Sprites are fully animated and breathe life into your player sprite. This month's Legendary Sprites are spooky themed and include the fan and pearly demanded cat sprite to the game. From a business perspective, the scope of our projects have expanded considerably over the past year, and we have big plans for the future. By offering up this new type of optional cosmetic enhancement to players, we are able to better make strides towards our grand vision for our games while maintaining our core values of avoiding pay to win, pay to play, and ad driven monetization. As always, we thank our community for the support along the journey. In addition to the legendary sprite pack, we're also revealing our new Halloween sprite pack for the year. Alongside the Hallowed event, we have a massive slate of mini events happening throughout the month of October. Experience lower dungeon cooldowns in our Spelunking event, running October 2nd through 4th. Experience galore can be found in our EXP event, running from October 10th to 11th. We're bringing the Paths of Fomoria back as a mini event this month, and now we're focused on one house at a time, so it's easier to target the enemy weaknesses. We've made other changes to this event to make it more accessible to players, so be sure to check it out by speaking with the Epitaph quest NPC later this month. The Plight of Apollyon is back from October 12th to 22nd, followed up by the season's Boo event on October 15th to the 31st. With your new two-handed boosting raid gear this month, why not go full Zweifencer and grab some gear from the Legend of Lioness event between October 20th and 24th. Rounding out the month, we have a lucky event on October 30th to 31st, and a Surrounded by Memories event from October 30th to 31st. Like a vampire buffet, there's a lot to sink your teeth into this month. Each September, the entire Northern Forge team assembles here in Canada to talk about the future of the Orniverse, discuss community feedback, and reevaluate our roadmap to plan out our big ticket items we aim to tackle in the upcoming year. While we have so many dreams for our game, we plan out what we can achieve with the small but mighty team we have. We're aiming to provide you with a revised roadmap blog post sometime later this year, but today we'll be giving you a sneak peek at what we're excited about. Guilds really became a big focus for us once we started creating them, and we're not aiming to stop here. In a few short months, we've already released the Circle of Anguish, Titanfeld, Fishing Guild, Traveler's Guild, Adventurer's Guild, and Blades of Finesse to the game, with a Deep Dungeons Guild just around the corner. While we have quite a few more guilds in the pipeline, the few we're aiming on releasing before the end of the year are guilds focused on collecting exotic items and completing memory hunts. 
Outside of this, the next 6-12 to 12 months will see a territory control rework, a kingdom overhaul, additional base game content, improvements to the battle UI, and Ascensions 2.0. That's it for October's monthly content video. We hope you're as hyped as we are for all the exciting changes coming to our games. See you next month and happy Hallowed!